Liam's son, Liam, chose uh, to come over to uh, Chisholm to yes. study here. Can you tell me a little bit about what led you to that decision to bring Liam or, or have him come to Chisholm? It was months and months of school refusal, months and months of me trying to organise meetings with teachers at the school to try and figure out why he was getting more and more depressed and so withdrawn, which was completely different from his nature. Mm. And he couldn't see or imagine what he might do in the future or how it had any relationship to do with what he was expected to do each day. In his words, he felt like he was being expected to be an adult, behave like an adult, but treated like a young child. He's nearly six foot, but mm. in little plastic chairs or having break time in a little child size bean bag and still being expected, even though they're 17, 18, being expected to be involved in theme days. And it meant a whole day that you're not in normal class or learning. So by the time he came home from school, he had used up all his niceness mm -hmm. and all his ability to be patient. So there was always catch up. Yeah. And so, I thought I was losing him. How did you find out about Chisholm and the courses that were offered? Through one of his friends. Her mother was very worried about her just quitting school completely. And they had started to look around and suggested we go and have a look. So Liam was... It wasn't something he was very confident about or sure about at all because it meant learning a whole new place and all new people and that didn't appeal to him at all. But this friend reassured him that because you don't have so many people, so many different grade levels or so many different age groups, that the people are all there because they want to be. So... I took him there for a drive. We, I just sat in the canteen area so that he could go for a walk around with his friend. And when we got back in the car, the relaxed look in his eyes. Mm. And I think sometimes you just have to go by your gut instinct. And I could see that he was going to be more comfortable somewhere where all those other things were taken away and that you're treated like young adults. And so how did you find then from that time the process of applying for a course and the information that you were given through Chisholm? He, um, I'm not very good at technolo technology yeah. things. So Liam went online and looked up and I made the phone call and it was so different than the chats that I'd had in other school settings mm -hmm. because I did look around at other different high school options and I was made to feel that I could bring him up, that they would sit down and have a chat with both of us or him by himself, whatever he chose, and that we'd just have a chat and that would just be relaxed. They made me feel like there was options that could change and it depended on how he was managing and that we could keep talking to someone that mm. wasn't committed into something that he was then stuck for. So that phone call led to us going up to an appointment. That's something that's really important to Chisholm, having that, um, I guess, that student interaction to make those decisions for themselves, to feel a part of that decision-making. Once he made the decision, you made that decision to come to Chisholm, how did you find the classes and um, interaction with peers in his course? When I picked him up at the finish of his first day, he said, Mum, it's just so, so different. He mm. said, I can tell by what other people are wearing, whether they're sort of, because they're not all in uniform, mm. I can tell I felt like I could go up and just sit near them because they wore the same sort of, you know, label clothes that they're all into, whether they're mm -hmm. a skateboard type person or whatever, uh, a sports type person. He could, he's into skateboards, motorbikes, all that sort of stuff. So it gave him social clues that he um, felt that he could go up to people and other people approached him. He already had a new guy's phone number and lived on the other side of the peninsula on the first day and he kept talking about Jane and I thought she must have been one of the other students mm -hmm. 
And he said, no, that's my teacher, Jane. Jane's, mm-hmm. and it was Jane this, Jane that. And he talked more about school on that drive home than he probably talked about school for the whole entire six months prior to me changing him over. So, Camille, it sounds like um, Liam you know, transitioned very well into his course. And now that he's moved on into part-time work and um, had his time at Chisholm, what have you noticed about him um, as an individual, as a person, as he's moved on? The biggest change that has been an enormous relief and benefited us as a whole family, because I'm a single mum of two kids, is his ability to take control of the situation whereas before he would have stepped back when you're in a very structured secondary school if you're told what to do and you're you go along with what everyone else is doing at TAFE he became a more individual person and realized that if he didn't make the decision as to what was going to happen next or when the bus was going to be there to get home or if he was going to be late to text ahead and apologise for being late, mm. all those things became his responsibility. So it it severed that umbilical cord between mm. him and I that he was relying on a li- little bit more than I did, I think. Mm. Um, and now it's meant that in the workforce there's been a few days where the, where he was working, the boss left him and another guy to work there alone and there was a situation go wrong with the equipment. And in the past, I think he would have just waited for instruction as to what you do Mm. next. But in the time at TAFE where he had to learn to make decisions for himself and it fell back on him, he learnt more and because he had gained that confidence in asking questions and realising you can get help. You don't have to always pretend you're going okay and bluff your way through it was a situation where he had to ring the boss and ask them to come back and sort the situation out and it could have been uh cost a lot of money to his boss or the other company if he hadn't reacted as quickly as he did so I was very proud of him Mm. and when he came home the the shoulder he was a lot taller and uh could see he was a lot more confident and the mm. boss has really praised him up for what he had done right. He's been able to apply what he learned in everyday life and he's now a, an adult young man that I can rely on. That's so um, great and positive to hear and um, I guess my, my, my final question to you would be, would you recommend Chisholm for other young people and what would be your thoughts for a parent to send their child to Chisholm? I absolutely recommend that a parent needs to, at the very least, go and have an interview, even if it's just themselves first, so that they can see and feel comfortable for themselves Mm. that what is being taught is of an educational level that is equivalent and applicable to Mm. their future chosen careers I think in the past I have an educational teaching background I think in the past there's been a little bit of a stigma that it's not as equal to uh, the final years of secondary school whether it's public or private where it's quite the contrary it's just the way it's presented Mm. it's minus the assemblies and the theme days and the uniform and everything else and when parents realize that they can send their child along to learn what they're going to need for that bridge across to whatever they'd like to try first because it might not be the career or their uni course that they're going to do forever, but for them to feel confident that they can take their child in for an interview mm-hmm. and they can see for themselves and you, can, you get a feeling inside where you mm-hmm. feel comfortable and you can't know unless you go up and talk to them. When I took him in for an interview, same as I would recommend to any parent, don't say that this is it. Say we can go and visit a few other places. Mm-hmm. As you're getting older, it's time for you to just start thinking about what you might like to do. And while we're there, we can have a look around. There's no pressure. It's not set. And I think parents will find that 
knowing that there's choices, knowing that it doesn't have to be whatever you've been doing before and that it might suit your child. Mm. You might have four different kids, doesn't suit all of them, but if it's the bridge across to where your child's going to go, where it suits their self-esteem and gives them confidence to just give things a try and to be willing to want to keep learning. Mm. As once they've lost that, it's really hard to get it back.